how's it going everybody i know it's been a long time since i've been on youtube uh life was kind of crazy for a while so we're going to be talking about why i wasn't at navarro the 2021 year yeah so let's get into it so in the show they're very vague about me not being there so like 2020 happened we were killing it we were gonna win covid canceled daytona and everything just kind of fell apart and a lot of people left they made it seem like i left after that happened i actually came back for the next year but i was only there for the first semester the fall semester <laughs> And um, I was booted before the second semester, but they didn't use much of the first semester's footage. So I guess that's why they made it seem like I just didn't come back. So it would be like easier for their storyline. I don't know. Never trust reality TV, they always lie. So I was there first semester, but I was booted before second semester because I was caught robbing a gas station. No, I'm kidding. It was due to academics. Since COVID like ruined everyone's way of life, all of my classes were online and I had never had any experience being an all online student before. So it was rough. I've always been a dominantly visual slash interactive learner. So having to like force myself to stay focused. And I also struggle with ADHD, which is like another thing that was making it hard for me to stay focused and like kind of keep myself in check. We also didn't have Monica. She was always on my ass about getting my work done. Are you going to do what you gotta do? And it's not her fault because she, I mean, she was out doing Dancing with the Stars. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity and it was like one of her favorite shows. So like, girl, go live your best life. Like that is amazing. I'm so proud of her for what she did. But her not being around did definitely cause some chaos. Um, it's like, she's the heart of this program and, you know, she kept a lot of us in check. I was one of them. It was just a lesson for me to like, learn to do better on my own. Like, I can't always have someone putting fire under my butt. My mental health had already been plummeting um, due to the pandemic and quarantine lockdown previous to school even starting. It was just hard because like, I've always been such a free spirited person and you know, having to isolate for so long really had me feeling like a bird in a cage. So it took a toll on your girl. Going from that to full on like grind time with classes and cheer and now business was like, it was a lot. I was, you know, falling behind in my classes pretty badly. So it was like really causing anxiety because I was just letting all my responsibilities pile up. And I wasn't only just worrying about school and cheer now. I made money through Instagram and it was my first time being like completely independent, paying all my own bills, making sure that I eat. I was also trying to keep up with my business and my press opportunities. I had to make sure I was like handling what I needed to do. It was an uphill battle, a very steep one. It was hard, adulting's f***ing stressful. Because of that, once again, my grades weren't getting the attention that they needed. To add the cherry on top of the pie or ice cream, I don't know what the saying is, but um, I got COVID, so I had to isolate. It sucked. I had no energy to do anything, no motivation, no drive. I could barely make myself get up to make food. So I was just able to sit there alone with my thoughts, like, you're a failure, you suck, etc. And I felt like so that was great. 
Eventually, I understood that in order to move past your issues, you have to not focus on what you did wrong, but focus on your next steps and fixing it. Focusing on what you did wrong isn't going to do you any good. It's just going to make things seem like hopeless. But of course, by the time I had this realization, my grades were already really bad. They were all failing. Yeah, that was just <laughs> just the cold hard truth. I was I was flunking out of school. So we had just gotten out for winter break or Thanksgiving break. I honestly don't remember. Maybe it was morphed into one because of COVID. That's what I remember, I think. But we had just gotten out for break and that's when I got the call from Monica. Funny story, I was actually at WWE tryouts. They like flew me out to train me because they were recruiting like athletes. I was dying. That's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It's way harder than cheer. I couldn't even pick up my luggage bag to walk through the airport when I was leaving. It was insane. But I'm really like proud of myself that I went through that because it was hard. I had like three asthma attacks. Anyways, back to the story. Um, Monica called me. I was like getting back to my hotel and she was like, so I took a look at your grades. And I said, mm, yeah, um, I already know what you're gonna say now. Um, <laughs> I already literally could feel what was about to happen. Um, and you know, there's a rule stating that student athletes need to maintain a certain GPA in order to have eligibility to you know, go compete. Daytona. She mentioned my grades and then she was like, unfortunately, you know what that means. I'm really sad that you won't be able to join us, but I love you and I care about you. If there's anything you ever need me for, you know, you can call me whenever. And then we just went on to talk about my life and all the exciting things that were like coming in. It was like a bittersweet call, but um, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. As sad as it was that I wasn't able to compete one last time with Navarro, cheer isn't a career path that I wanna take with my life. I know a lot of you probably hate to hear that because you follow me for cheer. I mean, most of you probably do, but my real passion is art and designing and creating. And so that's what I want to like put all of my time, focus and energy into so that I can achieve that. Hopefully y'all stick around even though I'm not going to be cheering anymore. Of course, I'll still do like tumbling every now and then because like my body can still do it. So like, why not? It's a good workout. But um, I hope that y'all still stand and um, I wanted to thank you for watching, getting this far. Um, more videos will be coming. Some of y'all want vlogs. I'll be making vlogs. Some of y'all want makeup tutorials. I mean, I don't really have any crazy makeup on. It's just the bare minimum. Booty content, like exploring like fun restaurants and bars and stuff. I'm going to be doing some traveling. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>